Hey everyone, Jameson here with TreePuncher.com and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to download and install the Feed the Beast launcher as well as modify your server with different mod packs and all that if you want to do it. Um, but that's not totally necessary. Most people are just happy with default Feed the Beast and that's fine. Uh, so the, for the first portion of the video you're going to need a Feed the Beast server. So when you order your server, if you did not select the Feed the Beast launcher, then you're going to need to order a new server or contact us and get that switched over with an upgrade or a downgrade or whatever. So if you order the Feed the Beast launcher, you will have the option of installing currently these mod packs, which is Amps, Tech World, Magic World, Feed the Beast Lite, and the rest. Pretty popular one is Direwolf 20. We get a lot of requests for that. Uh, you will have the opportunity to switch between these as often as you like, but do be aware that your world most likely will not be transferred if you switch between them. It's just not going to work with the different mod packs, so please be aware of that. Your world will be safe, uh, it just cannot be used with mod packs that are extremely different. Uh, so once you have your server ordered and all set up, you should get a confirmation email. And we're going to actually go to Feed the Beast now. So to get the launcher, it's at feed hyphen dash, I don't know, thebeast.com. There will be a link in the description. I uh, don't want you to have to type that out. Uh, if you click the download, it's going to anchor that down here, and you have the choice between downloading the jar or the exe. really doesn't matter which one you download. I'm pretty sure Mac can't run exe. I don't know. I'm not an Apple fanboy. Sorry, Matt and Jamie. <laughs> but um, just download either or, whichever works for you and put them on your desktop or wherever you like to put your Minecraft games by default and then you can go ahead and get off that terrible website. Um, so I'm going to minimize, well not minimize, put that over there for just a few seconds and we are going to start up either one, really doesn't matter. And the first time you start them it's going to ask you for an installation directory because um, it's going to throw a bunch of files around and again you can choose wherever to put those doesn't matter too much. Um, so by default here you need to set up a profile which is just like logging in and I've already done that but to do that just click create profile that's gonna bring up this box username password and then you can name it for easy access. So I'm bazing and their interface is bugging out okay that looks a little better <laughs> at least we can launch it now. Uh, so don't just go ahead and click launch because that's not going to work. By default, your Feed the Beast server is on uh, beta build A or something. It's all the way down here. They have beta pack A v12 right now. When this updates, it might be v13 or beta pack B or something. Uh, but it's always going to be the most core version possible. And that's at the very bottom. So if we just launched it, it would download Ultimate and we wouldn't be able to connect to our server unless we had Ultimate installed. And we'll do that after this, but we're treating this as if you just want to play regular Feed the Beast, good old fashioned Feed the Beast. And so I'd click Feed the Beast Beta Pack A V12 with my username in, I click launch, and hopefully I typed it all right. And then it's going to download the mod pack, and this can take quite a while. Feed the Beast is really a beast on both the client side and server, so there are a lot of files. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long and I don't have to cut the video and catch up. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going along pretty quickly, but uh, once this installs and everything, um, oh, here we go, we has the game. And you can just ignore this up here, this is just the console. It's kind of nice that they have this actually, it, it shows us what's going on at all times, so it's kind of cool to have. Um, so, oops, I clicked it, I shouldn't have done that, I might mess it up, but it's setting stuff up. And here we are. Obviously, I need to adjust some settings if I were going to play. There we go. Um, but now I have it on beta pack A, and we'd be ready to play because that's what our server's at. So we just click multiplayer, and we direct connect or add our server and go ahead and play. So if that's what you wanted to do, go do that now. If you wanted to install something like Direwolf 20's mod pack or the Yog Box thing or whatever, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to quit and open this back up and this is so we can install a different version on our computer. So what I think I'm gonna do is play Direwolf. So just like we did with uh, the regular 
Feed the Beast. We're going to click Direwolf 20, and then we're going to click Launch. And it's going to do its thing, downloading everything, and it'll pop up once it's done and be really annoying. But now we need to change our server to have the Direwolf 20 mod pack, otherwise we won't be able to connect. It's kind of a bummer that Feed the Beast requires a little more of a setup than regular Minecraft. But uh, you want to go to your admin panel, that's treepuncher.com. If you click Login, you can log in with your Go Away. Uh, you can log in with, the <laughs> it keeps popping up boxes everywhere. <laughs> Feed the Beast is truly a beast. So I'm just going to ignore this so I do not crash it. Because it is a very sensitive lady. Okay. I just want to bring up my browser. There we go. So log in to treepuncher.com forward slash login with your username and password. These were emailed to you upon creation of the account. Once you're logged in, you're going to be at this screen, and you might not have this many services, uh, but what you want to do is find the service you want to modify, make sure it's gray, and then just click anywhere in that box. So that's the Technic Launcher. We don't want that one. We want Feed the Beast. So I'm clicking this. And when this pops up, we want to go to the Install Mod section. And what this is going to do is give us a big long list of mod packs that we can choose from. So by default, it is on Beta Pack A version 12, or core and uh, we have direwolf 20 so as you can see right now it's number two we're going to click install and give it a few minutes for feed the beast it can take i'm going to say just say five minutes just to be safe usually it takes like less than a minute but you never know how busy their site is and right now it's going to their website and grabbing those files and setting that server up so um, give it a good amount of time and go back to your dashboard and you should be able to watch its progress through the console. So right now I'm just going back to our uh, panel. We're going to open it up, click our console. And it's probably not going to be set up quite yet. Yeah, it looks 